Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Folklore. Alright, we are on to chapter 2 at this point for Ellen. Ellen traveled into the fairy realm to discover the secret of her past. The family bond that she discovers brings Suzette to tears. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Chapter 2, Only One Wish 17 years ago, something happened at the church that shattered Suzette's family. And I think it has something to do with my past. Suzette's father heard about the incident at the church from the lighthouse keeper, Ryan. I wonder if Ryan is still in this village. Uh, if anyone would know, it would definitely be him. I wonder who would even know Ryan. A lighthouse keeper who died 17 years ago? Don't know him. I only arrived a week ago. But I have the sense that something's wrong with these villagers. A bloody history unbefitting of a village with so many legends. You think your past is connected to this village? That you might have been involved in something? Maybe. I definitely had this- oh, okay. Just repeats the same stuff. Let me talk to this villager over here. If I can get a right angle! The lighthouse keeper Ryan? I remember him well. He was murdered in the church graveyard. Harriet is quite close to Ryan, I believe. Alright, so I gotta go to Harriet's house. That's O'Connell's home, not there. I don't remember where Harriet's house is. Oh, that's the pub owner. Actually, I think Harriet is not that far from where I start. Could it be this house? Yes! Alright, ma'am, spill the beans. I'm asking around about the past. If you've been here for a while, maybe you know something? 17 years ago, did some incident occur in this village? Ah, that brings back memories. That was when there used to be a clinic here in the village. I lived in the village then, but only for a short time. Do you know a man called Ryan? Ryan was the lighthouse keeper. A very kind man. Where is he now? He died. That also happened 17 years ago. He was murdered on a desolate night. It was early winter, just like it is now. Where was he killed? Church graveyard, you were just told this. In the graveyard. Someone asked him to go there. Do you have any kind of memento of his? Would it help you to find something out? Well, you might not believe me, but... No, that's alright. He left behind a photo. It's torn in half, though. If you're interested in Ryan, visit the hut on the cape to the north. If you find anything out, do let me know, won't you? Of course! And thank you for believing me. The right half of a torn photo. So, my next lead is to go... to that hut near the lighthouse. Is this a clinic? And a doctor? I wonder what's on the other half. Time for a visit to the Cape to the north. Okay, I mean, we were there before for chapter one. So I might as well just go there again. So, where was the hut to? I think it was over this way. 
Keats? What are you doing here? Keats? Why are you here? Same as you. Whatever Ryan said to Regine 17 years ago it triggered a tragedy. And now, Regine has been killed. Are there any clues? Only half a photo. I have the other half! What could it mean? It looks like Herv. They match! The doctor and his patient? Is this Herv? Suzette's brother? Yes! I was told that he died because of someone. Told by whom? The dead? Yes, how did you know? A reporter cannot divulge his sources. But we still don't know why her, Ryan and Ronaldo died. And now Regine. Just, what is happening here? Would it be alright if I borrowed the photo until tomorrow? Sure. Thanks. A dead man's memento makes for a good story. <laughs> I wonder what Keats intends to do with that photo. If he's visiting the netherworld, he should offer it on the altar. I want to know what happens. Um... I'm gonna wait for night. Not much else I can do at that point. What'll Keats do with the photo? I wonder if he's gonna take it to the stone pedestal. Uh, probably gonna save later. Actually, if I can, let me go to the pub to see if there's any new quest that opened up. Here are the available quests. Wait, defeat Bargast? Exterminate Bargast. So you get three pulse tree nuts, three warm tree nuts, and three cold tree nuts. That Bargast keeps, hmm, getting in the way of our fairy tree sap harvesting. The alcohol we make from uh, fairy tree sap is exquisite. Would you go and sort that out? Sure, I've dealt with a Bargast before. I needed one to defeat the boss. Alright, guess we've got ourselves a little side quest to do in the meantime. Also, what is Ellen's rank? It has 666. Not the true number of the beast, but it's Iron Maiden's number of the beast. And that's good enough for me. Okay, there's the Bargast. It's all the way over there. I have to go a long way for it. Wait, I think it was Ogma that I needed to beat it, right? The level the Bargus I already have up, I'm gonna need to absorb this one. Luckily, this guy is pretty easy. Albeit a little tedious to fight. Got knocked down on him. You're mine. I had to walk all this way for one bar, I guess, too. There. That should do it. Hmm? 
Oh, damn, another one. And another one on that on top of that, too. Okay, here's the plan. Um, what else do I need to level up Fargus again? Be too gargantua? Can I use a Fargus to get to Fargus? No. It's a mirror. So they might stay over here and not aggro the other one. I have this one all to myself. I think that's just what I'm gonna have to do. Oh no! It's coming anyway! I don't get it, why was the other one still angry? This is a problem. Okay, but one of them is almost down. If you can knock it down, then you know you're close. If only I can actually hit it! Will I be attacked during this? Not very fast, in case I am. Oh wait, am I invincible? Cool. I didn't know that. I guess it would be kind of cheap if I could still get attacked during a minigame like this. So yeah, there's two more Fargus. Supposedly two more. There could be like another one coming. Might as well just get the experience while I'm at it. I gotta be careful that I don't smack myself in the face with a controller. Looks like they were hiding. That should definitely be it. Thanks to you, the tap can keep on flowing. Oh, uh, here's a reward. You know, just a token of my appreciation and all that. Hey, I got three different kinds of nuts. Three each. Cool. Okay, as long as it's still nighttime, I'm good. You have another one? No. You just did one. Go home, Missy. Bleeding all the quests dry. You're gonna leave none for four eyes. Hey. Sorry I kept you waiting. Keats! So you've come. I have a question. Does this netherworld mean that ancient legends were true? The fabrications of ancient men and those illusions are unrelated. But it seems quite real to me. To me as well. But the afterworld is no such place. How do you know? I just know. There are clues, of sorts. May I go with you? To the church graveyard. Ryan's final resting place. I hope we don't have to dig up a grave. What? What is this? It's a purple stuff from the Sunny D commercial it's converted to gas. It's another netherworld gate. Yo, this looks different. Looks like wartime. Wee! Modern man created this place, you know. That's why there is such a terrifying folklore living deep in this realm. 
don't let that stop you. Defeat it, and you get to meet the lighthouse keeper, Ryan. Well, I should save. I also notice I don't have the portal option available. So, I guess I can go back to the fairy world, but I have to go through the portal that's near the lighthouse. Well, that's unfortunate that they're not all connected through the portals. Netherworld denizens cannot travel freely to other realms. That's why we came with you, Ellen. I came all this way to help you. Uh, which path to take? You can decide to move on, or just walk around a little. You might find something good. I certainly won't stop you if you want to hurry on, though. Just be careful. There are many difficulties ahead. There are folks hiding in some of the stones you can destroy. Some of the stones explode, so be careful. Mission of Warcadia. We need to have you defeat the folklore in the fortress. Our mission is to help you with that task. The rebels. Long ago, there were some bad people that turned the netherworld upside down. A three-person group. A woman, a half-life, and more recently, a messenger joined them. And that's it. I had to infiltrate a fortress. That's pretty weird. Some of us entered Warcadia long ago to help clean it up. But after fighting for so long, ended up turning into Warcadia folks. That's the name of this realm, I guess. Warcadia. Oh, you again. Aren't you for the fairy realm? How did you get here? You have the fairy lord's blessing. So when you open the door to another realm, we can also enter. With you as our guide. The netherworld is vast and dangerous, but we fairies will advise you. And let our army lend you its support. Army? Are you talking about war? Helping you will benefit the netherworld as well. In this realm, the folks have divided into two armies and are fighting each other. We have to stop them. But how? By defeating the Barcadia folklore with you, and bringing this realm under control. But I only came here to find out about my past. I didn't come here to fight. I understand. We don't care for conflict either. But it must be done. So, do it anyway. Okay. Time to get used to a new realm. Hawk? Charges forward with its bayonet. Oh, it left something for me. A yellow dust? It was right at the edge of the area. Wow. Rude. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so it's ordered by world. These are all the Warcadia ones. And all the Fairy Realm ones. I want to try out Hawk. I'm going to put it on X. The yellow dust is just powdered pee. <laughs> well, they're definitely war themed, alright. Oh, right, you have to hit down on this menu, too. Okay, I got some pulse tree nuts. There you go, your attack power goes up. Oh. The air horn sirens are still going off. So I need to absorb a few more of these hawks. Yoink! Ooh, I ranked up, too. 
Simultaneous use count increased. That's cool. Wait, I'm gonna have the... Yeah, I figured I'd do that in case there is an explosion. So this gets two of them to attack at the same time. What do I need for it to karma up again? Ten hawks! Hang on, does one of my current creatures need yellow dust? I think that came up as a requirement. Okay, that one's safe. There's two paths to take. Let me try this one first. Oh lord, are they coming. One of them seems to be leading the charge. What? Oh, come on. Now they're just gonna keep stabbing me infinitely until they die. Or get absorbed. I gotta remember to use my dodge, too. Because even though you don't really move a lot of distance, it still helps. This will let me summon three at a time, won't it? Yup! Alright, test it for me. You know, if you can hit it properly... What do you need now? Louis Diag? Oh, that's a Barrager! That's a new one! Fires machine guns forward randomly. Oh, I can have a gunner now? That's pretty cool. Bullseye! Yo! I just picked up two different kinds. Just in this area alone. Maybe instead of Hawk. What if I tried... Bullseye? Yeah, I think Bullseye is gonna be good for this. Excellent. Alright, I have a feeling the right path would eventually loop over here. So I wanna... I want to explore a little bit farther. There is the explosion. That's what I'm talking about. else I can get here. Also, let me see if one of my uh, creatures did need yellow dust. I hope I can return to old worlds. It'd be pretty bad if I can't. Defeat five bullseye with Barrager. That one might be a little bit of a hassle, since a lot of them look the same. Outside of what weapons they are carrying. I don't know how I feel about that. This 
Despite all that, I'm still, like, not in. There we go. I think that was part of the requirements. Unless I got it in reverse. Oh, yeah. The very frame I'm vulnerable again. Of course. How is it that I haven't looped back to the first area? Okay, now I will. So there's no point in me uh, going all the way down. Might as well see what the treasures are. That's probably gonna blow up. Get your aim together. Arcadia picture book. Okay, so it doesn't blow up. Oh, look at that guy on the left. So why are they all shooting at me? Is it because I'm chubby? Why do I have to be so mean? I do like that each realm feels very distinct. So it doesn't feel like you're going through the same areas all the time. Which I do appreciate. But again, I hope I can revisit the old ones. So Something tells me I can. But I have to choose to go there. I suppose a new door does not mean the old one goes away. Degasser? Is that what I saw in the book? Okay, at least I can't attack it directly. the size of this unit. This is helping. How much more health do you have? Looks like a Kirby boss. Should I be using Bullseye instead? Ow. The wrong button. I can do it. Oh! So when it's blue, I have to keep rocking. That looks so weird. I actually had to click to open the tutorial for that one. I thought it would just show up on its own. Page three? Why the hell is that page three? Where the fuck was page two? Why don't we skip a page there? I don't even know where that thing is. Is that supposed to be upside down? Scarecrow. The fairies are... <laughs> They're hiding something from you, Ellen. 
the fairy lord wants to go deep into the netherworld. But to do so, he needs to have you go on ahead. That's why they've been so eager to help you. What? But they've been so kind to me. Why does the fairy lord want to go right into the netherworld? Who knows? The fairy lord doesn't share his thoughts with lowly peons like me. Don't pay us any heed. Just go and search for your dead. This battle is a netherworld affair. There are some who object to having you two involved. Well, you don't seem to be one of them. Alright, let's save. Alright, so... I can go that way. I can also go farther north. The dead in Warcadia, for the most part, all had a sudden or accidental death. So the same must be true of the lighthouse keeper, Ryan. But I thought he was murdered. So that seems pretty deliberate to me. Phew! There's quite a feat to come all this way, you know. Machine soldiers of Arcadia are ridiculously durable, so they're really hard to deal with. To begin with, you'll need to do something about their armor. Ambush unit. Rumor has it that the ambush unit has a secret weapon. Believe this. Flying machines. I saw them only the other day. Machine soldiers buzzing around. I'm sure they were summoned by thunder ma machine soldiers. This is a battlefield. Unlike the fairy realm, we don't have a room to meet the dead in here. In this realm, the spirits of the dead could be running around on the battlefield. Oh, I can also go west. Or north. Oh my god, there's three ways I can go. Let's try the way that's closest to here. I can cross this bridge. God boy! That's not it. Alright, we're gonna do this again, because for some reason my power went out, and I lost all my progress by facing this enemy right here. Now the good news is that I figured out that Bargus actually does work against this god boy. So, make good use of it. And of its wondrous power. There we go. Press button rapidly for a series of thunder lunges. In fact, I should put that to good use right now. Nice! The Warcadia Picture Book, page 2. Yeah, Galboy does not work on Galboy. What a shame. Also, I noticed this is actually my second take of this video. Because, uh, when I was going for, like, around 10 minutes, I noticed that my mic wasn't picking up. And I was like, why? So, for some reason, even though it was connected, the mic wasn't picking up. Not only that, all the filters I put on it disappeared. Every single one of them. So I had to put on the noise gate one again. Which was stupid that I even had to in the first place. And I don't know if anything to do with like losing the power abruptly caused all my mic settings to just revert to default. That should not do that. So me being annoyed is an understatement. You know, I love when technology just decides to do the weird things that you think it wouldn't do until it does. Do things that make not even a lick of sense. 
Now let me see what I can start leveling up. I got Puka leveled up by defeating five Hawks, which is pretty cool. And it turns out you can go back to old areas, which is good to know. But you have to use the same portal door from the same area you unlocked it. I have enough green dust so I can power up Ubri. Not that it's going to help me in this chapter, but it's great to have nonetheless. Alright, what ones in Warcadia can we work with? Louis D, guys, haven't found that. Uh, Brolican, I haven't seen yet. Telanthera, I haven't seen yet. All that yellow dust we can finally use. Put that towards attack power. And now I need purple stones. I defeat three patriots with God Boy. I haven't even seen a patriot yet. Unless I gotta go to New England for it. Must you get in my way? Even though I can leave at any time. But I'll fight you anyway, because I'm not a little bitch. Golden ore? Don't I already have some of that from a previous quest? I think I do. Okay, I have no clear idea which way I'm supposed to go next. But why don't I try going west? Because now I can go this way. Oh great, more gobboys. What the hell? There's something there with a shield. Oh, it just shot down Bargast. Oh, that's a Patriot. Hang on, is Patriot blocking Bargast as well? I think so. Nope, it's not blocking it. I wonder if I have something that can counter it. Let's try Degasser. Oh, Degasser also works. There, now I got Patriot. Provides an impenetrable forward guard. Here's the other issue. How do I get to those? They're all the way up there. It's not like I can free aim where they attack. Argus can reach them, but doesn't shatter them. Oh, I need six Patriot Kids to get this one leveled. It looks like that one's only there for defense. And nothing more. So, good to know, I guess. Alright, let's go north. What the? Warthog? Okay, this one seems to work fine. Oh, it's another one of these, huh? Gotta do the drunk driving simulator to bring that sucker down. Oh, 
Hold on, maybe Warthog can reach those particular stones. I wonder if that's possible. Oh, but Warthog may not be able to apply the same element. That's the other issue. So I should probably look for another... Another id to absorb. Ow! Alright, this is not working out for me. Here's a degasser. Let's put Patriot on there. So I don't have anything for blocking. Oh, why did it turn me around? That was stupid. I was facing the correct way then. Okay, if those blue dots are an indicator of where I should go... Let's check out this way first. God, there's two pads to go! It was a trap. It's only those jerks. Why would I even bother to fight them? I can just go. Those look like mines. <laughs> okay, that was not a good idea. Let's not do that again. Ambush. Boobry back. Those are green. So green should break them. They do. Oh, wait a minute. I know what I should be doing to break them. Or de destroy the mines. Hawk. I'll charge forward. Oh, pfft. There, now I got ambush. Set mines that explode upon approach. Sure is annoying yet to constantly cycle through them every time. Okay, that's page four. Yep, that's all there was there. What is on the other pages? Okay, so looks like Ambush works on that thing over there. What's the other one? I think Gaboy? Yeah, it looks like you might need to use mines against whatever that creature is. I wonder if that's the folklore. So, that'd be great. And now I need to switch again. Oh! Well, it's not the boss, because I don't have a cinematic cutscene. Gargantua!
All right, let's see if we can put this to the test. Well, let's see if you drive over it. Side guns, too. Come on, drive over me, you coward. I'm just running out of hours. Uh oh. Nice. Didn't even have to worry about that, it was already detonated. I don't even see where that bullet was. I'm surprised that still hit me. I'm also not a fan of how erratic those uh, bullets can get. better way to deal with this gargantua. It backed into me again! One more hit and I'm gonna have to leave. Fuck it, retreat. This is not working. I also worry that if you die, you have to lose all your progress. There, dodge the first bit of mortar. Now that I'm coming at this with just about full health, it's going a lo little bit better. I'm surprised this thing has that much health. 
Why don't I feel any stronger now? Oof! Took a mortar right to the face! And depending on your positioning, you could just get chain shot. Makes this even worse. All right, I gotta come up with something else. What else can help me here? Maybe Warthog can. If it doesn't get shot out of the air. Nope, Warthog actually does nothing. Oh, Degasser? And has a charge attack! Yep, that worked! Did it. Holy crap. Powerful long range destroy shelling. Oh, that's that's something else, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at what Gargantua can do. I have no green ores. This asking me to absorb more of them. One of them was a chore already. Fort Avalon. Ah, so you made it this far safely. Yes. We intend to support you, of course. Thank you very much. What is it? You seem concerned about something. Why are you all helping me like this? Well... Helping you benefits the fairy realm. Do you plan on waging war in the next realm, too? You misunderstand us, Ellen. True, we do want to make this Arcadia a better place. We have no intention of bringing conflict to other realms, however. Yes, I'm sorry. Of course you don't. Our aim is for you to go to the Netherworld's deepest reaches. And enter the Netherworld core. The Fairy Lord will no doubt explain all of this to you soon. I'm sure you're fighting only to find out about your past, but to us, you are our hope. Hope you can find a way to win for us somehow. We'll be going with you as well. The battle with Dreadnoughts will finally commence, Ellen. We are not skilled at fighting, but we'll give all our... I will give our all to support you. What would you like to ask? Uh, the ruler of Arcadia. The Arcadia folklore, Dreadnought, is a terrifying weapon of destruction. It burns plenty of fuel, but is able to carry plenty, so it just keeps on going and going. Set its fuel on fire, and it's likely to go up in a big bang. The armor is extremely thick, so its tank can't be easily pierced. The area ahead is an extremely hotly contested zone, literally crawling with folks. Be very cautious. If you defeat this folklore, that will make two. Your message is stronger than we've seen in a long while. Hope you'll be able to defeat this folklore, no matter how strong. She's here. <sighs> the fairy one who once threw the netherworld into chaos. I'm sure she's gloating over the chaos, too. There was an unfamiliar man wearing glasses with her. Who could he be? Hmm. Gee, I wonder. So I guess if I go through this door, I fight the boss? Is that it? Well, it might be a good idea to save. Alright, so you know what? I think we'll just end it here. And in the next part, we'll see what's beyond this door. 
see everyone thanks for watching